Josh Secor. Nathan Pico. How are you, sir? Doing well. So this is the part of the video where we taste the beer that you just watched get made. Um, Welcome so, to the palatial Pabst Mansion West Estates. I was just going to mention, do you guys know where we are? <laughs> we are at Pabst Mansion West Estates. Estates. Yeah. So Josh was kind enough to open his home. Uh, I'm up here for Homebrew Con, and we're going to taste this beer. Uh, we've been talking about this for a while. Yeah, a long time. Ever since I tried it last summer, yeah. when I was moving with Elder P. Yep. Love the beer, love the idea. So uh, I went for it. We consulted and uh, we changed a couple things. Improved a couple things, I think. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Stuff I would have yeah. changed from the, the right. original. So I took his suggested changes, improvements, and ran with them. Changed the yeast, though. That was the one thing I was going to keep true to the recipe, but I had some rad Saison yeast from our man Effort. Let's brew it. Yeah. Dan sent me some uh, some cool yeast, so let's crack these open. Let's do it. Um, we've got Josh's that he brewed in late 2015. Yeah. December oh, 2015. Yeah. So it's got some age on it, and then mine was just done in March. Yeah. So. All right. Well, let's do let's do the new one first. We'll save the fireworks. <laughs> fireworks. The potential fireworks for last. <laughs> okay. And you bottle conditioned yours. Yep. I keg conditioned mine. So. I did. And I. Uh, intentionally tried to carbonate it highly so yeah. it should show in the bottle hopefully oh yeah <clears throat> okay well, as a saison should be right yeah we'll just drink this one half inch at a time beautiful so the recipe let's talk about your inspiration for it and where you got the idea what made you want to brew a guacamole saison uh well one I was bored and I had too much time on my hands. Two, I ran across a Drew Beecham article about is before he started doing the stuff with Denny, the like the experimental brewing stuff. Oh, yeah, but he was cool. still into that stuff. And I was just looking Saison recipes and I stumbled across this guacamole Saison. I was like, that sounds sweet. So I Took the concept, tweaked the recipe around. I did the flavors a different way. I tinctured them instead of putting everything in secondary. Cool. And it totally kind of worked. So I did the tincture method as well. <clears throat> and we changed um, I changed up some of the ingredients in the tincture. Um, so what we changed on this one was added a poblano. So one whole poblano pepper. And then I also added... A little bit of garlic. Yeah. Three three cloves of garlic. I think yep. that was it. I think so. Yeah. For the tincture, because I had everything else. Yeah. Yep. Because yep. I used the little baby sweet peppers. Yep. But I wanted it to have like a little more like that jalapeno. Without. That, yeah. Kind of that sharp jalapeno thing without it being obnoxious. Yeah. Yeah. So I think if we would have went jalapeno or something spicier, spicier chili, it would have been a little too much. It could have been. Yeah. This has got some. You'll see. You'll can taste. I, can I see? Cheers. Cheers dude. Thanks for the recipe, dude. Thanks for being in my deck. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> oh, dude. That's exactly what it needed. Mm -hmm. That, that poblano. Little bit. That was, that's it. Well, I think you might be getting the garlic, too. I get a, the garlic. The garlic, too, yeah. Now that you... Typical flavor, man. Now that you <laughs> yep, say it, yep. it's like, oh, of course that's garlic. But to me, it's that sharp, like a fresh cut jalapeno. Or a poblano. Yep. Or, yeah. Something with some more kick that, to it, that, right? That, like more traditional not so sweet pepper flavor color is pretty much uh close to what you had I think. Mm -hmm. I think so too oh that is that's that's sort of all right i like it mm -hmm. so on the tincture i just kept adding a little bit until i until you that's what until i, did I liked what the flavor was yep and um overall really happy Came out, came out great. The aroma is awesome on it because it's really it's different than the flavor because you get more of the citrus mm -hmm. from the the limes and the the saison yeast I think on the flavor of it. But the nose is all it's all a pepper and garlic. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I love what the flavor does is because it's not it's so many dimensions. Mm -hmm. You get a little bit of the, you know you get the first you get like the garlic kind of up front and 
the salty characteristics. Yep. But then it goes into a little bit of the sweeter stuff, and the, and the tomatoes really come through on it. Mm -hmm. Right at the you, end. I don't know if you get them too, but back in the yeah. And mm -hmm. then the saison yeast kind of throughout. It's Yours? a really interesting yeast. I mean, buried under all the flavor, the, the yeast character is definitely there. Mm -hmm. It's a super. I, it's a cool yeast. I think. Isn't that neat? That's the Leuven Leuven Hoek. Yeah. Leuven Hoek. Hoek. Yeah, yeah. 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 You pronounce it. <laughs> I, I'm gonna try. <laughs> Probably butcher it. Yeah, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Damn. That is. That's cool. Dude. Carbonation's right on. Look at that. It's perfect. <clears throat> I was a little worried about it being in the bottle, coming you know coming from the keg. Yeah. Let's uh, oh, that's awesome. save a little bit of this back. Yeah. All right. Let's pop the old school version. So the yeast on this was the Bell Saison, yep. right? Dry Bell Saison. Mm -hmm. Which I always get a ton of citrus out of it. Yeah, that's barbed. Oh, yeah. Pretty similar. Oh, the yeah. color is darker on mine. Oh, yeah, so yeah. I think the only difference was I think I had a different crystal malt. So some of the malt bill did change a little. Um, obviously a different brewing system, mm -hmm. boil kettle and everything else, but, oh man, I changed the, the, the crystal or whatever it was, <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's, it's, um, it's lively, let's say that. Yeah, yours has got a little, a little action going. It's, it's coming though. Yeah, the color is, it's not crazy far off, but it's a, it's a, it's a it definite a shade, shade. Yeah, we're definitely one, one shade spectrum delta. Oh. Wow, that is a that's a Charlie Bamforth worthy head right there. <laughs> that's wicked. All right, let's see what, uh, what we're getting. Cheers, dude. Aroma wise, a lot more subtle, but I'm mm -hmm. still getting. It's in there, but you can tell this is like the an old old. You know what's sticking around that you don't really get on the aroma here is like the black pepper and coriander. Yep. I'm the black that. pepper for sure. Black pepper. And this is just fresh, oh, fresh so veggies just yep. jumping out. This it's, is like this is like like you're in like the garden. Or smelling a bowl of guacamole. Yeah. You know, you stick your head in there. Everything but the avocado. Yeah. You still get the saison yeast out of this. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. That's that lemon mm -hmm. character you get from the bell saison. Cheers. Oh, Cheers. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> almost, almost missed you. Wow. Oh. That's nice. It does, actually, that held up. The citrus in it is still really strong. Strong, yeah. But I don't it know. might be the yeast, too. It could, I think it's, some of it I'm is the yeast. I'm getting lemon. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. It's super light drinker. Uh, it's funny how like, all the pepper flavor faded out of it, though. Yeah, that was the, I was going to say all the vegetables really are gone. Unless, the tomato, they're, unless they're in that bottom half inch. We could of, swirl it. And, yeah. Find out. I couldn't get Elder to do the shot when we reviewed this. I know. I'm I'm a little hurt. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember back that far. That was like two reviews ago. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> did, did I post that? No, that one. That one. We did that uh, last year when we were moving, and it was like yeah. 90 degrees that day. 95. I might have to make this again now. We might have to do a do a third, okay. save a couple bottles, and we'll. Well, after having loop this, it back around. how it's aged, I want to bottle off the rest of that keg. Yeah. And just stick them away. Yep. Because this is rad. I mean, it's it's. I remember when it was fresh, it had a lot more of the pepper character. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's still great right now, and it's super quenching. Yeah, it's, it's like it's a good like hot. Sitting by the pool beer. You know what I need? I need a pool. <laughs> Just need a pool now. <laughs> Dag nabbit. It's so interesting how the pepper changes the whole thing. Hmm. That's crazy. I think yours is a little more kind of, yeah. So well, let's see what happens. I know it's going to foam. But... No, evidently <laughs> just your glass. <laughs> in there anyway it it's it aged surprisingly well because it's low abd yeah i think it, it's not over five is it was yours mine yours might have at? been a touch over five this i swear was uh, like yours was 4.7 4. is what you told me yeah yeah, yeah. 
But I, I factored in the amount of, um, I'm, I'm just over five. Mm -hmm. I factored in the amount of vodka that's in there. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I, mean, I didn't, you know, figure mine, that didn't, in, so. mine didn't have a full pint in, in the, probably half a pint. Yeah. Let's say safely. Yep. No. A little over. It was 12 ounces, I remember. Because I measured it and I wrote it. Okay. Out, so mine's got 12 ounces of the vodka tincture in it. It's, the vodka tinctures are so cool because you don't taste it, the vodka at no, all. No, you really don't. Mm -hmm. So, what I was going to say is, uh, this is like a lot more, mine is a lot more savory. Yeah. And yours, yep. where yours is more, at this stage anyway, more quenching, more, I don't know, it's just so easy drinking. Let's see if that foams up again. Nope. Beautiful. Did it? Oh, oh. So, they're, you know, they're a little chunky. It's all good. Well, thanks, Josh. Anytime, dude. This was fun. I think, uh, I think this is a stellar recipe. I think uh, it's a fun one. If anyone wants to experiment, you know, reach out. We'll, yeah, for sure. We'll give you some pointers. Tell you what um, we would change on version three. I don't think I'd put avocado in it yet. No. We'll leave that to Hoover. <laughs> we'll leave that to Hoover. <laughs> Right on, man. There's a little more of the pepper in that bottom, but still, it's it's toned down. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, for sure, a ton. When yours was fresh, it had that like real bright, sh not sharp, but bright, yeah, green pepper yep. thing. Like what you get from fresh jalapeno versus you know like pickle. a fresh bell pepper, a like fresh bell pepper that yep. phew, vibrant flavor and aroma. Yeah. You just had that. Yep. That's what I loved about it because it wasn't spicy. Nope. But it had all that freshness. Yeah. It was good. And, and pepper. I'd be curious to try it like a slightly <clears throat> spicy version of this and see what it was like. Mm -hmm. Almost like a like a habanero sculpted level heat where it's not uh. crazy but it's there. I've never had the habanero sculpted so I don't know how hot that is. My only chili pepper beer experience, experience is chili beer yeah oh with the with the chili in it it's with the actual chili in it and that that shit's spicy yeah that's that's hot yeah so now habanero scope is I gotta hot go back but too. it's not and it's a good ipa underneath it all oh you can't go wrong there so yeah. maybe we'll have to track that down this week sometime if, if, uh, we, we need get we need another beer in our uh in our repertoire i don't think we have nearly enough <laughs> not nearly all right we're gonna bug out uh thanks for watching everybody thanks for tuning in and thanks to Josh. Yeah, new nerds. Mm. Brew yourself a guacamole saison. Do it. Cheers.